And more bad news for unions. First, the UAW got run out of a Volkswagen plant in Tennessee. That was last week, and that was humiliating. And now, arrested. Ten union members arrested in Pennsylvania chalking up a laundry list of charges, including arson, violent crime, and conspiracy. Reporter Jillian K. Meltier is investigating this for the National Review. She joins us. Nice to have you back, Jillian. Hey, thank you for having me. All right, so what's going on with this union in Philly? Yeah, it's a very interesting story, so I've been following it for about a year. Um, and it's not just this union. For about four decades, the construction trades have dominated, the unions have dominated the construction sector in Philadelphia. They've used intimidation, violence, vandalism, harassment to basically force contractors and builders into hiring their workers. And I think what you see here is a couple members of the Iron Workers Union got caught for it. And uh, the federal government's actually prosecuting them as a criminal syndicate. How'd they get caught? What were you know, the facts underlying uh, what, uh, what they got caught doing? <laughs> well, there are a lot of signs. Um, I think maybe the one that tipped it was there was an act of vandalism um, just days before Christmas in 2012 um, where basically, allegedly, union workers went out to a Quaker meeting house that was under construction. They had gone with an open shop contractor and allegedly they used basically a blowtorch to target several of the pressure points of this building, caused more than $500,000 worth of damage. And I think that really upset people because, you know, it's the Quakers. Who messes with the Quakers? Indeed. All right. Now, is this union members or is this the union? Well, they're investigating the union as a whole. And that's actually something fairly interesting because there is a 1973 Supreme Court ruling, Edmonds, and it said that basically unions can't be investigated um, or prosecuted if they're carrying out quote-unquote legitimate union business. What's so interesting about this is they're investigating the union as a criminal syndicate as a whole. And that, that really sets kind of a fresh precedent. I mean, that's pretty rare for them to be able to do it. Well, a, legitimate, is, a legitimate union business would not be using a blowtorch to, uh, to burn down a Quaker's building. That would not be a legitimate union purpose. Exactly. And that's what I think the prosecutor is going to argue, that the minute that they began behaving like a mafia, I guess, that they were no longer conducting legitimate union business. But I think it's really important to note that this isn't an isolated incident. This isn't just one union in Philadelphia. Um, I was looking at an estimate that found that up to 45 incidents have occurred every single year of union violence violence and vandalism, um, and that's for almost four decades. I mean, there's just an incredible amount of intimidation going on. Are they going beyond the unions and, uh, or just the unions themselves in this investigation? You know, that's going to be interesting. Um, the indictment actually hinted that political actors may be next in the investigation. It's certainly ongoing. But I think what this really shows people in Philadelphia is that they can speak out because for years they've been too afraid and they have good reason to be really afraid. But now the federal prosecutors are looking into it. So I, you know, I think it's definitely going to lead somewhere. Jillian, thank you. Thank you so much.